Oh, you're most welcome to this video. Now, as you'll see from the title, this is a new topic that we're looking at, and I'm going to tell you what it's about so you can decide if you'd like to watch. And now, I've been allowed to take part in uh, Tim Spector's new Zoe study, which is about nutrition, um, blood sugar levels, the, the, the microbiome, and the way that what you eat interacts with your microbiome in the way that that leads to protecting us against disease or causing disease or or all the multi various things that the microbiome and nutrition can do as they interact to influence our health now this is one of the main things that we can learn to do to improve our metabolic health and metabolic health is vital it affects things like blood pressure obesity high cholesterol uh, dyslipidemia high blood pressure, hypertension, and, and diabetes is, is an absolute epidemic of diabetes at the moment. So if we can learn about ourselves as individuals while contributing to the total body of knowledge, that would really be the ideal situation. And that's what this study I'm doing does. It looks at me as an individual so I can learn to promote my own health, what foods are better for me, what foods aren't so good for me, how to promote my own microbiome, how to try and optimise my own metabolic health and between you and me I'm a bit overweight and my blood pressure is not as uh, low as I'd like it to be so I'm really quite keen to address those and the other thing that's really uh, quite exciting about this is the microbiome is also tied in with mental health and uh, I could do with slightly better mental health as indeed many of us could there's no no point in denying that so if you want to know more about this, follow up this series. It will be a series of videos as we go through this research program together. And then you can decide whether you'd like to take part as a participant as well. So that's what this is about. Stick with us if you want to know more about my metabolic state and hopefully your metabolic state as we contribute towards uh, global medical research. Well, this is an exciting day. My Zoe kit has arrived. It all comes in this box here. I'm not going to do an unpacking video, it's already unpacked, so I have my blood sugar sensor here. I have my uh, gut, uh, gut microbiome test kit here, ready to be sent away when we get uh, the relevant stool sample. I've got my finger prick uh, blood test device here. Uh, Zoe have also provided me with a nice weighing scale so I can work out how much I'm eating of what. And last but not least, my muffins. I've already frozen, so we've got various muffins in here. And uh, Tim Spector's team have loaded these with the appropriate nutrients so they can do the appropriate tests. Now it's all laid out in days, so I am now on day one. So we're on the first day now. So the day one says use the Zoe app to set up your blood sugar sensor before noon. So I'm going to do that. I've already downloaded the app on here and I'm now going to load the blood sugar sensor app as well. And then I'll show you me putting that onto my arm. It just fits on the arm. Lots of diabetics use these. Now, why are we doing this study? Well, there's two reasons. One is this is contributing towards nutritional dietetic science globally. This is a big research project. We believe that tens of thousands of people are going to join in. That's going to give us huge amounts of data that, that Tim Spector and his team can crunch and give us real meaningful information on what nutrients are healthy and what nutrients are not healthy. So we're looking forward to that and that's going to transpose into lots of authoritative papers. But the second reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to learn about my health, what foods are good for me. So typically we talk about some foods being good for us and some foods not being good for us and some carbohydrates raising our blood sugars and some proteins not raising our blood sugars, but it's different for everyone. Partly because we've got different physiology, but also because we've got a different microbiome and we need to have foods that encourage the microbiome. So that's what this is about. It's contributing towards science, but it's also learning about me as an individual. And of course, that gives you the option of learning about you as an individual as well. So day one, and we'll report back tomorrow for day two.
there we are. So there's a line there and there's a line there. So we push that in. Now ready to go. Done. It's on. There we are. One sensor fitted. So now that's on, we can put your clothes back on and then we have to just, we can scan through our clothes. I've had the sensor on for about eight hours now and it really is quite fascinating. You can literally check your blood sugar every minute if you would like to. So you, uh, you put the phone uh, over the, that's the sensor there, put the phone over it and it gives you your blood sugar level. So mine's currently uh, 5.3. And as well as that, it gives you a bit of a it gives you a bit of a graphic as to how you're doing. So my blood sugar is currently five point three. It's about an hour since I've had my uh, tea, so that that's quite good. And we can see that I'm actually quite nicely within the within the range that we would like it to be. So this is the desired range here, sort of um, three point something to nine point something, and I'm sort of bumping along uh, nicely in that range and that's kind of expected really because I'm not diabetic but what I can do now is I can try eating uh, different types of uh, food different measured doses of carbohydrate and see how that affects my blood sugar and see if it gives me any spikes in blood sugar because what you want to avoid is the spikes in blood sugar because if you have a spike in blood sugar that can also spike your insulin and if you don't have a proper insulin response it can lead to problems of uh, long-term problems of high blood sugar hyperglycemia so um, lots of fascinating information that I'm going to derive from this and I'm going to keep on doing this and um, I'm going to do it regularly try lots of different foods and see how I react individually uh, to different foods in terms of blood sugar uh, levels.